Greetings, Internet Land. This is Ivan coming to you live from the home office. Just wanted to shoot a quick update on a nine-point version of the AB Bulk Mailer. As you see, we have a totally new interface. Uh, if you looked at some of my older videos, the interface pretty much stayed the same. He added a few more functionality, but this time he, he basically changed the interface. It's very uh, nice looking. Um, I did change my background to blue, so you can change it to any color. So if you're uh, here new for the first time, there is a download link that you should have received already. And if you're here to update your older version to the 9.0, you should have a link already. The link that came originally with your email when you got your software, that link is still good. All you need to do is make sure that you still have your license that is saved in a file somewhere. And if you have not, um, uh, if you somehow re lost your license or misplaced it in a file, uh, you can email me or you can email support. Uh, AB Bulk Miller support you can e or email me at tmemarketingpro at gmail.com and I can coordinate that for you but we're going to get started here um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the link uh, that I have and it's going to take me straight and since I've already done that I'm going to go ahead and go straight to the download I'm going to go here and start the process and it's real simple everyone you just follow along with the uh, the wizard here and it's going to move rather quickly, depending on how fast your computer moves also. And then you just keep going next, install. Okay. And as you see, it's just going, uh, it's copying all the files and it's just moving along. It's real simple. Yes, I want to launch the uh, program when it's finished. Okay, there it is. Now, once that happens and it's uh, launched, what you're going to need to do is register it, okay? Now, that license that you received from AB Bulk Miller or uh, the actual company itself, uh, you're going to go ahead and save that file. So, I already have it saved. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here. Now, after you do that, you're going to go ahead and put in your company name or your name it doesn't matter whatever it is that you want to put in there and then once you do that you're going to complete the registration it says congratulations it's been updated successfully now what's going to happen is going to open right back up and as you see it is ready to rock and roll now the next thing you need to do is upload your SMTC server now um, I have some already, so I've saved them. Uh, if you're looking to add more, you know, you can use Gmail, AOL, Yahoo. But I, I actually prefer using a hosting account. Now, um, a hosting account can run $10. Um, the most expensive ones I've seen is run about $15 a month, which is great. I mean, if you're going to be doing thousands upon thousands of emails a, a day, uh, if you're only doing a few hundred, you can get away with Gmail accounts. And I'm going to upload some Gmail accounts for demonstration purposes. Since I already have them, I'm going to go ahead and import them real quick. I just got to find the file. Once that happens, I have six of them there. Is uploaded as you see they're there okay now once that happens you are ready to rock and roll now the other thing I'm going to show you is how to change the color of this now I'm I'm a big fan of uh, the color background so I'm gonna go to settings and I'm going to go ahead and change the color on it the theme which I'm gonna go with a darker blue maybe okay see how that works I don't know if I want that blue there. It's a little too dark. Whatever your favorite color is, you can pick any color you want. So let's see here. I might go with the lighter blue here. And Okay, that looks good. So what I'll do is go ahead and close it. Well, actually save it. All right. Now what you're going to have to do for that to take effect, you're going to have to close it and open it back up. So I'll do that real quick. And there it is. Okay. 
I like that much better. And as you see, it has an interface here. And I'm going to go through these. Um, really, the software itself, it's great for emailing. Um, if you're a big social media person, there are some videos out there in regards to that. The bounce checker is if you're using a lot of Gmail accounts, uh, you're going to need to basically use that to make sure that uh, Gmail doesn't try and shut you down, shut you out um, using the their server for sending emails. Uh, the email extractor, I'm going to click on that real quick. Now, this email extractor is, is cool if you're looking to pull some leads. Uh, again, I, I'm not using this. I'm using it strictly for emailing, but it's an added bonus there that you can put in there. There's videos out there. Like I said, I'm going to get more into the functionality of how to use it. Um, your email verify, I'll open that up for you real quick. Again, it has some uh, cool features, but it does not verify Gmail, Yahoo's, and MSN. Uh, and no problem. Um, there's other email verify. Matter of fact, there's one I recommend. Um, if you're not if you're looking to verify these particular type of emails okay um, also you see we got the now what we're going to do is just get into um, how to send a message uh, the easy send those are really simple now um, we're going to go into contacts right now I shouldn't have any contacts in there so what I want to do is show you how to upload a, a list um, and that's what's good about it. you can upload my recommendation is to upload uh, 10,000 at a time if you have lists that are you know hundreds for thousands break up those those lists into about thousand a piece or 10,000 a piece you can do 20,000 but it takes a little longer for it to upload so let me go ahead and find a list to upload real quick and I'll show you how simple it is so you have the choice between text files Excel CSV file so I prefer Excel but a lot of if you got leads you probably are using a CSV file which is fine uh, the Excel file gives you the ability to put in the name. If you use a CSV file, they won't, you know, it will not uh, include the name. So I like to put the name and everything. So what I'm going to do is, since I have more than one character, meaning that I have more than one column, I mean, I'm going to put the other field as column two because I have what I call contact name, email, and maybe IP address or maybe a phone number. It depends. Okay. And if you have other columns, just put it in into order, like two, three, four, five, six. So let me go ahead and pull up some leads real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pull these leads up. Let it upload real quick. As you see, it's uploading now. Okay. That's pretty quick because it's a smaller list. And the one thing I did not do on which I need to do right now is name the actual file. So I'll go here to contact groups and let me go ahead and name it. I'm glad it didn't go into that one. That's a default um, group there. So what I'm going to do is name it uh, leads, boost leads. So let's go ahead and name the new group. Boost leads. Uh, and then I like to put the date, and this is a new video if you've seen it today or a week from now. That's the actual date. Now, once that happens, it's going to go active to that group. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload them real quick and go back to, to Excel file. And again, I'm going to put down, I think on this one, I may not even have it, but just in case, I'll leave it there. But if I had like a a column of email, I mean, uh, phone numbers, I would put two, three, four on down. So let's just keep it where it is right now. Let's see how that happens and go ahead and upload and see as you upload it real quick. It's only 79 leads, so that's a small list. Just wanted to show you how quickly you can do it. And once you do that, as you see, uh, I can open it up and there's my leads. Okay. Have all of these there. Great part is that it also is going to tell me how many leads. It hasn't refreshed yet, so let me see what happens when I close it. Usually it's, it tells you, okay, there we go. Yeah, 79 leads, as you see there. Now, once they're in there, it's real simple. All you're going to do now is start emailing. You can write out your message. Um, because I don't have a message, I can't do an easy send, so I go to message first. And we'll just put in, uh, hello. Awesome 
business. I'll just use that. That's not really a title I use. I'll put hell. Let's put the O there. And again, everyone, if I'm moving a little fast, it's because I want to get this done because I have some emailing I need to do. And uh, I wanted to get this done as quickly as possible. You can always rewind or look at some of my older videos. They're out there. Um, and you just all you do is just search them and you'll see them. But it goes more into detail. But I really like the interface on this. They've changed really the interface from the buttons here that you see. Um, um, I've been with this software for years. I've been an affiliate with this software for more than uh, five years now, uh, right back when they first started. So um, once you put the name in there and you start typing the email, hello. Now, if you want to include their name, let's just say you have a list with names and just name and emails, go ahead and insert contact name here under insert. That way it'll automatically pop their name, populate their name, and you can start sending emails. Now, once you uh, write the email out, go ahead and save it because now you'll have that for future reference. And every time you write emails, they'll be saved over here in your data. Okay, and you can always uh, duplicate them and change them. Uh, you can always delete them if you get tired of using them. One of the other great features here is the rotating subject line. If you're sending out thousands upon thousands, you may want to rotate them and change the, each line. Um, you could do manually. It's real simple, as you see. Um, you can just delete it and type a new message, but you want your titles to be similar, I'm quite sure, if you're uh, actually sending out a lot of emails. And also, you can rotate the bodies. Also, if you have, like I said, so many emails going out, because some people are sending out 100,000 emails a day, you definitely want to change that around to help the inbox delivery with this. And also, uh, you can preview your email. Let's just say you had a link in there, uh, or you want to preview how it looked as a whole. As you see, I just typed that. It looks good. If I had a link in there, I can click the link, and it, it'll make sure that it's redirecting to the right uh, place. Um, this right here is a a timer, so if you want to send out your emails in a certain amount of time, at a time and date, you go ahead and click the box here, put down the date and the time that you want to go out, if you want to repeat every uh, three to four days or whatever, and also your list that you want to go out to. Now, the catch to this is, everyone, is that this has to be open, your computer needs to be on. If it's sleeping, if it's um, you know shut down, it will not send your emails. So make sure that if you're gonna send the emails days later, that your computer is already up and running and it's not you know on cool down or sleep mode because you know a lot of computers people have it where if they're not doing anything on it after about a few minutes it it's you know it's, it goes to sleep mode. Well it's not gonna happen if it goes into sleep mode. So I just wanted to let everyone know. So let me go on and close this out. So as you know I got the messages here. Now I'm ready to start sending messages. It's just that simple everyone. But like I said I wanted to do an updated video here on the software. There is a free download demo below here in the uh, description. So if you want to download it and try it out before you buy you definitely can do that um, you have two places you can buy it from you can buy it from me and you can buy it from AB Bulkwell now what I offer you know because I'm great friends with the owner of AB Bulkwell and um, I've been reselling this product for many many years you'll have my support um, when it comes to wanting to know more detailed information because Ahmad is a very busy man uh, he may not be able to get back to you, and also he's on a different time zone. He's on India time zone. Um, you know, again, if you buy from me, you have your support, and you also have some other what I call um, downloads that I'm going to throw in there. I won't say on the on the video here, but again, you have choices. But if again, if you decide to down uh, buy from me below here, uh, there will be a place to to purchase the the actual software. You're getting it directly from AB Bulkmuller. But again, I am an affiliate, and I would love to uh, be able to help you and show you how to use this software. So you have a choice, and the choice is yours at the end of the day. But you will have my uh, support on any matter regarding this software. I'm very well versed with it been using a long time but again this interface everyone is very very simple there's a couple other things you can look over like settings and things of that nature um, if you want to go in here and change your ID you can uh, your sender name and things of that nature so if I want to put in there 
Ivan. I can if I wanted to change this email I could and then I could just go ahead and save it okay go back to settings again um, this is where also I changed the color and everything if I wanted to change that to my friend I can this is when you don't have a name and you just want it to be generic I like my friend or it can be whatever you want it to be but I prefer my friend and whatever changes you make just make sure you save it that way you're going to um, have it uh, on your future. I don't know why I can't see that. What is that? Okay, there we go. We got too many eyes in there. So once you do that, you go ahead and save it. And as you see, it closes right up. But uh, it's real simple, everyone. The, the, the software in itself is pretty much the same. Um, Ahmad is always giving, uh, doing great updates. And again, all updates are free. You don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, every time I update that you have to pay extra dollar, he's not going to ding you. He's going to just tell you to go ahead and uninstall the first one and reinstall the new one with your license that you already have. So, again, I want to thank everyone. Again, you can download this uh, below here as a, in the description. You can download the software, try it out, and, and decide to buy it. Uh, and then if you decide to buy it, uh, you have two places you can get purchase it from, which is me directly or from the site itself. So, um, again, I appreciate your time. And I hope you have a great and successful day. All right. Talk with you soon.